Hello viewers, today we will talk about wave equation in electrodynamics. Before talking about the wave equation, uh, let's talk about the wave. Wave, which is a disturbance of a continuous medium that propagates with a fixed shape and constant velocity. Now if I add uh, some more condition into this, let's say in the presence of uh, absorption, wave will diminish in size as it moves, as it moves. And if I am talking about uh, medium, if a medium is dispersive in which our wave is moving, then uh, we will address different frequencies which are traveling at different speed. And uh, if they are traveling in two or three dimension, then this wave will spreads out and uh, its amplitude will decrease with time. For this time, we will only confine our attention to only the with the, for the fixed shape and the constant velocity. Let's say then uh, a wave which is uh, uh, something like this, say f z zero function uh, z. As we are saying, uh, shape remains fixed and with the constant velocity, as it is moving with the constant velocity. Let's say the function is f z t after v so uh, f so f z comma t is equals to f z minus v t this can also be written as z minus v t comma zero and we can collectively also say them as uh, f to u as mm, t zero has no meaning here so this can also be written as like this now on differentiating this with uh, respect to z we will get curl f by curl u and curl u by curl z as u is a function of z minus z and t so uh, which will gives us as a curl f by uh, curl f by curl u curl u by curl z curl u by curl z is 1 so only curl f by curl u and same curl f by curl t which is equals to curl f by curl u curl u by curl t which is minus v curl f over curl u so from here uh, from these two equation we can interpret that uh, curl f over curl z is equals to curl f over curl u which is equals to minus 1 over v curl f over curl t as uh, this negative sign if the wave is moving this in this direction and if the wave is moving uh, in the left direction then uh, we have this one curl f over curl u 1 by v curl f over curl t and collectively they can be written as a collectively they can be written as curl f over curl z is equals to plus minus 1 by v curl f over curl t okay now differentiating this one more time curl square f over curl z square is equals to 1 over v square curl square over curl t square which is a classical wave equation now to know this 1 by v uh, let's say uh, take one example if I am talking about uh, uh, length of a wire let's say when we zoom in uh, it experiences tension in, as this t uh, by the angle theta 1 and uh, this one as a tension t uh, with the angle theta 2 okay then this uh, on resolving this t cos theta 2 t sin theta 2 t sin mm, t cos theta 1 and t sin theta 1 so from here we can uh, conclude the equation to this is t sin theta 2 is equals to t sin theta 1 which is uh, equals to t theta 2 if the angle is very very small t theta 2 um, minus t 
थीटा वन टी थीटा टू माइनस थीटा वन ओके एज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ टू नो द थीटा टू एंड विद वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा वन लेट्स से द वेरी स्मॉल पार्ट वेयर दिस डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज डेल एक्स एंड दिस एज अ वाई एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स then the theta one which is uh, according definition of tangent is equals to curl y curl y over curl x x t and theta two same is after uh, for this tan theta two which is curl y over curl x x plus del x comma t and which we can also write as curl y over curl x x comma t curl square plus curl square y over curl x square del x now substituting the value of theta 2 and theta 1 here uh, this equation will converts into t curl y over curl x x comma t plus curl square y over curl x square this del x uh, minus curl y over curl x x comma t which is equals to this theta 2 minus theta 1 now from here you can see that this is equals to curl square y over curl x square From here we can see that curl square y over curl x square del x uh, t and this is a uh, nothing but a force so we can write them say mass per unit length quantity is defined uh, by mu so mu is equals to uh, m by l uh, force is equals to m d square y over dt square and this m by del x which is a mass per unit length for the small uh, length of a string which is equals to gives us t curl square y over curl x square uh, is equals to mu curl square y over curl t square and on comparing this to the this classical wave equation we can conclude the value of uh, v is t by mu okay thank you